lithography techniques can be subdivided in two different groups, top-down and bottom-up lithography. Top-down lithography is an approach that removes parts of a substrate to form structures, as the builders of the famous Easter Island figures have done, while in bottom-up lithography nanostructures are formed out of smaller building blocks, similar to what has happened to this pile of toy bricks. Although the two approaches are fundamentally different, they may yield very similar results. The resolution in bottom-up lithography is only determined by the size of its building blocks. As these building blocks are usually molecules, bottom-up lithography is at the prospect of yielding a very high resolution. Block copolymer lithography is an example of a bottom-up approach. We make use of the principle of self-assembly to induce order in an otherwise disordered sample. A block copolymer is formed of two or more homopolymer chains joined together through a covalent bond. If the materials of the two blocks in the block copolymer are immiscible, like oil and water, they would be able to phase separate. However, as they are joined together through a covalent link instead of two well-defined separated macro domains, they will form periodic nanostructures. The parameters controlling the self-assembly are mainly two. The volume fraction of two blocks, F, and the segregation strength are given by the product of N, number of monomers, and the flory huggings parameter, chi. If the segregation strength is over a critical value, they will be able to phase separate and form different nanostructures, depending on the volume fraction of each block, such as spheres, cylinders and lamellae. Unfortunately, the phase separation of block copolymers only induces short-range order. To induce long-range order, which means to control the self-assembly on large areas, we have to fabricate guiding patterns. The use of topographic guiding patterns, as shown here in purple, to direct the self-assembly of block copolymers is called graphoepitaxy. One of the blocks preferentially wets the side walls of the guiding pattern, and therefore the block copolymers self-assemble in straight domains parallel to the guiding pattern walls. Another widely used way to fabricate guiding patterns is the chemoepitaxy approach, where a thin polymer layer is chemically modified in such a way that after the self-assembly, the modified regions are preferentially wetted by one of the blocks. The advantage of chemopotaxy is that the guiding pattern may be much less dense than the block copolymer. The distance between two lines of the guiding pattern, divided by the distance between two block copolymer lines, is referred to as multiplication factor. In order to do lithography, it is, however, not sufficient to have a large array of oriented block copolymers. To build devices out of these structures, we must first remove one of the blocks. After that, we use a selective dry etching step, where the remaining block serves as an etch mask to protect parts of the substrate against the chemical etching. After removing the etch mask, we have our tiny structures transferred to the substrate and we are ready to fabricate tiny devices. Directed self-assembly of block copolymers has been demonstrated to be a powerful technique for the fabrication of multiple devices. Lamella block copolymers have been used for the fabrication of nano eye based devices, such as fin-fed transistors. On the other hand, patterns made of vertically oriented cylinders has been used, for example, for the fabrication of high-density memory arrays.